How to use EndNote in 5 minutes. This video will give you a fast start on using EndNote. It will show you 1. Two ways to import a reference from an online database, using PubMed as an example. 2. How to create a custom group and add references to it. 3. How to use Find Full Text to download PDFs for references. 4. How to insert a reference in a Word document. 5. How to format a bibliography, using the APA style as an example. 6. How to add page numbers to a citation. The first method of importing is online search. In EndNote, click the Online Search Mode button. Select the online database you want to search. There are thousands more available. These are just popular ones. Build your search. Click the Search button to perform the search. Click the OK button. Select the references you want from the list. Click the Copy to Local Library button. Click the Local Library Mode button to see the contents of your EndNote library. The references you just copied are shown in the temporary Copied References group. To create a permanent group for your references, Select Create Group from the Groups menu. Enter the name of your group and press Enter. Select the references to add to the new group and drag them into the group. Another method of importing references is Direct Export. I am going to import some references from PubMed as an example, but this method can be used with many other online databases. I am using Firefox for this example because it supports direct export on both the Windows and Macintosh platforms. Direct export will also work with Internet Explorer or Google Chrome. Perform your search of the online database in your browser. Select the references you want to import. For PubMed, mark the references to select them. Click the Send To link, then select Citation Manager. Different databases will have different ways of selecting references and preparing them for export. This link may be called different things by different data providers. Look for something that talks about saving, exporting, or importing references. If offered a choice of formats, select the one that mentions EndNote or RIS. For PubMed, selecting Citation Manager will save it in the correct format for direct export. Click Create File. Firefox will ask you if you want to open the file and what program you want to open it with. Select EndNote. Click the OK button. Click the OK button. If the database is set up for direct export, the references will import right into EndNote. The new references are shown in the Imported References Temporary Group. Drag the new references to the permanent group they should belong to. To have EndNote try to find the PDFs for references, select the references, then click the Find Full Text button. If EndNote is able to find the PDFs, you will see a paperclip icon appear by the references. After a reference is in the EndNote library, it can be added to a Word document. In Word, click where you want to put an EndNote reference. Then click the Go to EndNote button. Select the reference or references you want to insert. Click the Insert Citation button. The reference is inserted into your paper and instantly formatted. To change the style, click the tiny arrow in the bottom right corner of the bibliography group. Select the style from the list of favorites. If your favorite style is not showing, you can use the Browse button to see more styles. Click the OK button. To add page numbers to a citation, click on the citation, then click the Edit and Manage Citations button. Add page numbers to the Pages field, then click the OK button. EndNote can do 